I'm working on a new project and I need an oscilloscope with more than two channels. So I decided to buy this one for less than $50. This oscilloscope is so weird because it has five channels. They are usually one channel, two channel, four and eight channels. The maximum bandwidth is only 50 kHz and maximum input voltage plus minus eight volt. You have to download the software and the driver from this link. Connect the oscilloscope to the laptop using USB cable. When this LED stops blinking, it's ready to use. By the way, you can get another model with Wi-Fi connection for $53. At the beginning, I activate only one channel and connect it to 1 kHz signal. Then I start to increase the frequency. There is some distortion for any frequency more than 10 or 15 kHz. So I think the maximum frequency of this oscilloscope is only 10 kHz, not 50. And believe it or not, it gets even worse if you activate all the 5 channels. Now the maximum frequency is only 1 kHz. It has FFT and some other features. I used all the 5 channels at the same time to test this circuit. Let's take a look inside. So we have a microcontroller, USB driver, voltage regulator, DC to DC converter, and many op amp. I'm not really upset because of the low bandwidth. I'm gonna use it for 50 or 60 Hz line frequency anyway. But I need a probe with 100 times attenuation and also a USB isolator. But I have none of them. I made this voltage divider by using resistors. So it reduced the input voltage 100 times. Now, as you can see, I can connect the mains voltage to the oscilloscope, but it's still so dangerous because I didn't use the USB isolator. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.